Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. We're going to be discussing Mary to Medicine. This is my take on season six, episode three, The Crabby Ladies. So let's just get into Toya and Dr. Eugene. So this episode started off from the party and it just seemed as if Toya was just in her feelings because Contessa couldn't attend the party because her dad was sick. And I just think Toya just came off a little bratish to me. And it's like if your friend's dad is sick, you should understand that. But she just made it about her. And I just, I'm not liking Toya this season. She's just coming off as too entitled. Like, people life doesn't revolve around you and your um, your parties. Like, people have real life things going on. Contessa's dad is sick. So if she couldn't attend, she couldn't attend. Her husband showed up, so she should have just left it at that. Instead of having an attitude and saying that she's not your real friend because she didn't pick up the phone and call you. Like, her dad is ailing. Like, give, give me a break. So also, um, Dr. Eugene and Toya were looking for their forever home. And since they paid off most of their debt, it, I guess they feel it's only right to go ahead and look into their forever home. Now, personally, once I've paid up, paid up, paid up my bills and I'm out of debt and I'm debt free, the last thing I want to do is put myself in even more debt or spend some more money. I'm going to stack my money and, and continue to save. And I just kind of think that's the approach that they should, that they should do, like, Dr. Eugene needs a break. Let him have a break. Enjoy the fruits of his labor. And just chill. Save your money. Don't be so quick to buy a, um, another home. Or something that's going to put you guys back in the same situation. And, to, and it seems as if Toya is on that type of page. Like, they're not trying to get back home. She's not trying to put her husband or work her husband to the grave. So all in all, my advice to Toya is for this season, or for this episode, everything is not about you. Like, girl, get over yourself. Oh, be there for your friends this season. Like, take the back seat of trying to hog the attention. Be there for your friends. That's my advice for Toya. Chill out. So next up is Contessa. Like, this, Contessa has grown to be one of my favorite um, doctors on the show. So Contessa Dad is in town, and he's not, obviously he's not doing well. He doesn't even look well, and he's suffering from Chrome disease. And it's just great to see how much love Contessa is showing for her dad during um, il his illness. Like, she, they're very, her and her husband are both very um, supportive, and they're there for her father. And it's kind of crazy how he tried to, like, pull one over with withhold information from Contessa. But by her husband and her being doctors, you know, they just, they see him right through it. And it's kind of great that they are doctors and they're able to call him out and let him know, like, we know that something is more serious is going on. And it just sucks that Contessa's um, dad is this sick. But Contessa, I, I like Contessa. She's very relatable. And she just, she she keeps it real to me. Like, she shows her, vulnerabil her vulnerability and she shows that she's human and she's very practical. It doesn't seem as if they live above their means. Like... They're my favorite. Her and her husband are my favorite couple on Married to Medicine. So one of my favorite scenes is when Contessa got Toya together. Like, she let her know, like, my life don't revolve around you. And she don't have time for the, the, the foolery about her not attending her party. Like, have some compassion. Like, be a friend. Be a woman. And understand that everything doesn't revolve around you. So... Kudos to Contessa for um, putting Toya in her place during the crab boil scene. So the, next up is Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly has done her work, and you can actually see that she's improving. Like with her anger management, her therapy classes, you see that Dr. Heavenly is actually changing this season, and especially with this episode. Like she made a point, or she made attempts to get the ladies together with Quad. Her and Jackie had went paintball and Quad was supposed to show up. She reached out to her and Quad didn't show up so heavily went ahead and threw a crowd boil and then Quad actually shown up and it's just really good that to see Heavenly trying without throwing any jabs but you know Heavenly would like things reciprocated in return with you know acknowledging that you know you do have real friends here and you have sisters here that are trying to you know be there and support you. And Heavenly's been, Heavenly's doing that. Even her little feud with Mariah, it seemed like that kind of, I'm not going to say it ceased, but she overlooked it and still invited Mariah to the crowd boil. So kudos to Heavenly. Like she's, she's doing her work and 
you can actually see the growth, especially with this season. She didn't pop off too much. She did pop off a little with Quad when Quad wasn't receptive to the women attempting to, I guess, support her during her the scandal with, between her and her husband. So, you know, Heavenly, Heavenly is trying, and she just wanted to reiterate, reiterate and remind Quad, like, you do have sisters. Like, this is sisterly because we're here. Like, she went out of her way to try to be there for Quad. So next up is Dr. Simone, honey, and I'm loving Dr. Simone. I just like how she is with her kids. Like, she's very open and honest and transparent. Like, she's not hiding anything behind their back, especially with the things that's going on between her and her um, and Cecil. Like, she's open and honest, and she's also giving her boys the opportunity to express how they feel. And a lot of parents don't do that. I know my mom didn't do it. If she broke up with her boyfriend or whoever it was like ain't none of y'all business y'all stay in the kids place but it's good that Simone gives her kids the opportunity the opportunity to express how they feel so one thing Simone wasn't here for this episode she wasn't here for all the the fakery and the phoniness that Quad was dishing out when she showed up to the crowd boil she got straight to the point uh, as soon as Quad sat down, she goes, Quad, we haven't seen you in a while. Catch us up. Like, what's going on, sis? In a normal Quad fashion, Quad jumped on the fence. And Simone just wasn't here for it. She, she was just like, Quad, no. Like, you know, we all put our stuff out there. And like, if you don't want to be a part of this team or this group, or you don't want to be our friends, then just leave. Like, why even show up? Since she's shutting everyone out. And I just, I, I, commend, for, I commend Simone for, you know, just keeping it 100 like if you have an attitude and you really don't want to speak to us or you don't want to deal with us then then don't quit the show if you don't want to share your life like everyone else because dr jackie shared their shared her issues simone is sharing her issues and if you don't want to do the same then leave don't be a part of it because no one's forcing you to do it so i i agree with simone on that i know a lot of the women's are in their feelings this um season how with how Quad is responding to them and they just want to actually be there for her. And it just seems like maybe she's already on the defense thinking that a lot of the ladies are going to be judgmental. But I think in Simone's case, like I think Simone is truly concerned and she wants to be there for her friend. Like they all had a relationship before, before all this happened, like a close relationship where Quad was there for Simone when she was looking for her father. So I just think that you have to allow people to be there for you in your time of need as well. Like, it's not cool to always shut people out and act as if you have everything under control. Allow someone to be a blessing to you as you, as you were to them. So next we're going to talk about Mar Mariah. So Mariah had a scene with her daughter where she was having a, a conversation with her about, you know, her transitioning from being, um, transitioning to becoming a young lady or a young woman. And it was just good to see Mariah normal without all the extra and the anim and being animated. Like she actually had a sit down talk with her daughter, which was really, really good. It's it's a good look, and I just like the way that Mariah um, parenting skills are when it comes to her daughter. It's completely different from her interaction with the ladies, which it should be. But it'll be nice to see more of that from Mariah, other than just seeing all the yes and the whole animated stuff. Like, we can do without some of that. Just be normal. Be a human. You know, maybe that is her. Maybe that is who she is. Maybe she's always turned up and extra animated. I don't know. I only see her through the show. And most of the time on the show, I see her popping her neck and saying, Yes, yes, come through Miss Mariah here. So, she just seemed more human and relatable. So, in another scene, um... Back to the crab boil, Quad forgets her purse when she walked off, and Mariah went ahead and um, took it upon herself to bring Quad her purse, her purse, which was kind of like a bad move. Quad was already upset, and you guys don't really get along, so I would have probably just let one of the other ladies, you know, take her her belongings. But I don't know if Mariah was trying to be nice, but she went ahead and tried to, you know, give Quad her purse, and Quad just told her just go ahead and put it inside the van. Like I don't, I don't need it right now. Put it inside the van. And then Mariah just got super offended, or she got offended. And she was just like, well, I was just trying to be nice, you know, which instead of um, 
you know, just saying, okay, just put it in the put it in the um the van. Like you were your main objective was to get this lady her belongings. So if she didn't want it, you should have just put it in the van like she asked, or just put it back on the table. So Mariah just gets super nasty and you know, she talks crap as she walks away. And I'm just like, come on, um Mariah, like Quad doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Like just let it go. Now, on a quad, she's been kind of like MIA for the past three episodes. Kind of like leaving the other ladies hanging. They've been reaching out, inviting her to things. And she's just been no sh- no call, no shows. That's what she actually been. And she's saying that she has her other a lot of other things going on with Sister Circle. But it just seems as if she you knows she's been leaving the girls hanging or the other ladies hanging since the whole scandal with her husband. And, you know, I get it. Like, things can be completely embarrassing. And it's humiliating going through this in public. But, you know, you do have an obligation to share your life and share the ups and downs with the viewers and your um, castmates once you start the show. Like, that comes with the territory. So, Kuala finally makes an appearance with the other ladies at the crowd boil. And she showed up being super fake, if you ask me. And a lot of the other ladies weren't really having it. Well, at least Toya and um, Simone, they wasn't really here for the um, the fake Kiki in. And I'm sure she felt like I can go to this crowd boil, smile a bit, you know, have a little bit of chit chat, and not address the big elephant in the room, which is the scandal. She can probably get through tonight, but which wasn't the case. Like you don't have to talk to these ladies. You guys have been friends for far too long for you to to try to you know dance around what's really going on. And I just kind of feel like if, you know, if she would have done that or if she didn't want to talk about it, there's nothing wrong with saying, I don't feel like talking about it. Like, this stuff is still fresh. It's still going on. And mentally, I'm just not in the right place to talk about it. Can we just talk about something else? Or when I'm ready, we can talk about it. But right now, I'm just not mentally capable of, you know, discussing the details of what's going on between me and um, Dr. G. So at the end of the episode... Quad and Mariah gets into this huge um, argument. And I don't know if Mariah was trying to hit Quad or she wanted to push her. I don't really know what Mariah was trying to do, but she did put her hands on Quad. And that just kind of like, what are you doing? Like, quit trying to mend things with Quad. She doesn't want to be your friend. And Quad is not here for it. So just give her her time. And if she wants to mend the relationship, then go ahead and you guys will mend it. Because it seems obviously that Mariah wants to still be friends with Quad. But Quad is not here for it. And she got a lot of other stuff going on. So, you know, only thing that Mariah can do is just be an ear if she wants to talk. And if she doesn't want to talk, leave her alone. But just give Quad some time. She needs some time. And, you know, hopefully things will, you know, work itself out between Quad and Mariah, but honestly, I don't think that they're ever going to be friends. But you guys let me know what you think. Um, we didn't go over Dr. Jackie because Dr. Jackie didn't have much to give during this episode. So, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Bye.